Right, so exclusive right to represent is the technical phrase, and it locks the buyer into buying through a particular agency for a period of time, and it guarantees that agency what we call a success fee uh, if they connect the buyer with the house that the buyer buys, uh, which means that if the buyer goes and buys from somebody else, the original agency still gets paid. And this, this protects the agency and the agent so they don't waste a bunch of time with a buyer only at the very last minute to have that buyer use a different agent. Well, I, that's a great question. Right, right. So you have to give them a value proposition that convinces them that they want you to be their exclusive buyer's agent. And that's definitely a little bit more difficult than maybe even convincing a seller, but your time is valuable. And I let my own agents decide whether they want to use them because what you're pointing at is uh, troublesome, right? Uh, that it might be difficult to convince a buyer to sign. On the other hand, like the buyer who does not respect your time they're the ones that will, you'll go show them houses seven Saturdays in a row, and the second that you're not available, they'll drop you like a stone. And then they'll go, oh, you're not available? Oh, okay, Melissa, no problem. We'll do it next Saturday, okay? And they're like a bad boyfriend. They're on the phone to the other agent like two seconds later. All right, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I, I let my own agents decide what they want to do on that. Other brokers have different opinions. Other brokers say, we never use it. And other brokers insist upon their agents using it. So I've just taken kind of the middle road and said, it's your choice. I would say my my feeling is less than 50 My for my agents. Um, I think that, uh, how do I want to say this? Most of the buyer stuff that we do is with a really strong relationship with that buyer. So it's so that's how we because uh, in our business, in my business, we don't really get leads off of advertising. So we are so our buyers already have a high affinity for who they're working for or with. Now, to get a listing, to get a listing, you really do need a, an express written agreement to get a listing.